What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ranger Mic Show tutorial. And actually, technically, this is not a tutorial today. It's more of a showcase. And today we are talking about microphones. And these are going to be my favorite microphones to use in the studio and live and pretty much for all around use. First thing, if you haven't already, hit, hit that little subscribe button, hit the little bell, you get notified every time I upload, like the video, share it around. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, the one you're listening to right here is the Shure SM7B. This is a cardioid vocal microphone, pretty much the industry standard for podcasts, vocals, all around use. This thing is great. As you can tell, it's got a nice punchy low end. The mids are real clean and the high end is not too crisp. It's not too crazy. There's a lot of little different settings you can do on the actual bottom of this microphone, but I just have it at what it came with. It's got this built-in windscreen here or uh, you know, pop protector. People call it a bunch of different things. So it's really warm. It's not like it's not picking up a lot of extra room noise. That's what cardioid is. If really, I just really like this microphone. I use it for my podcasts. I use it for vocals in the studio. Really, you can use it for anything. You can use it for our guitar amps. You can use it for drums. You could use it for a lot of different things. The one thing is you do have to be a little closer to this one. You'll notice if I back off like this a little bit, it gets quieter. And obviously that happens with most microphones, but with this one in specific, it's good for really something that's right up next to it, that's close to it. But it really, it does a great job though. And you can see, I'm not even right up on it. I'm kind of like back a little bit, but it is pointed directly at where I'm speaking. Uh, it's probably about six inches from my mouth right now. This is a great microphone. I really, really recommend it. It'll probably cost you about 400 bucks. If I can get it to work right, you'll probably see the little picture of it up here to the Sweetwater link. And then I'll actually link the legit thing down in the description so you can buy it for yourself if you want it. So this is the Shure SM7B. Everybody uses this thing. If pretty much any podcast you watch, most videos you see, like Think Media use these all the time. Joe Rogan uses one of these. There's a, a lot of different people that use this microphone. There is a reason for it. You can hear it in this video. The quality is just off the charts. I love this thing. Sure SM7B, couldn't recommend it more. Alrighty, so now we are on to the Aston Microphones Spirit. This thing is awesome. You'll notice this a little crisper. It's still retaining that low end, but it's different than the SM7B. Now this one actually has a few different settings and it, it, it actually has a lot higher of an output than the SM7B does. So I actually had to turn my soundboard volume down here so I wasn't blowing the sound back out at me through these speakers. This thing is still super crisp. It's a large diaphragm mic, so basically it's going to be bigger sounding, warmer. It's going to it's got a lot less self noise. So if I'm if I end up banging into this thing, I mean, you you'll still be able to hear it, but it's got a lot less self noise. So it's made that way to help kind of compensate. It's got a built-in mesh windscreen on it, which is really really cool. Like this is a really clear microphone. Dan and I use this for guitar amps and Dan's in specifically when we play live, this is the microphone that goes that goes in front of his amp. Um, and it sounds great every time. Anytime we record lead guitar, this is what we use. Now, as you can see, it works great for vocals too. I mean, like it's picking up my voice really clear. The clarity of this microphone is insane. This microphone's around 350 bucks, something like that. It's really a solid piece of equipment. It's got a whole bunch of settings on it too. It's got a you know 80 hertz high pass filter, which is really nice. Polar patterns are switchable. So it's got cardioid, which is what I'm on right now. And then it's also got omnidirectional and figure eights. So when you've got omnidirectional, it'll record all around it, you know, from front back. You can get the whole room noise if you want to. And then figure eight being just front and back. But it, it is getting rid of the audio on the sides. It's really, really awesome. Really, this microphone, you can use it for vocals. You can see I'm using it for the podcast. I find this one works best for instruments like amps. With this, you don't have to crank your amp on stage. You can turn your amp up a little bit, give it enough tone, but then this thing will do the rest of the work. This will project the sound of your guitar from your amp through the whole room, no matter what system you're playing through. And it's really gonna show up and it's gonna sound great. It's clear, it's crisp. So I couldn't recommend this microphone more, especially for recording guitars and amps and stuff. But as you can hear, it sounds great with vocals. It can be a great podcast mic. You could use it for studio vocals. Only thing is the difference between this and the SM7B is this one is a little crisp Super. It's not as warm, it's a little brighter, but overall it's very, very even keel. It's like not super, super crazy. So 
This microphone is awesome, Aston Spirit. So go ahead and check it out. Once again, you probably already saw the little thing pop up, but I will have it linked down below for you to check out. Okay, so now on to our next microphone, and this is the Telefunken M80. This one is a super cardioid, so this is even more precise to where the sound is coming from. You're getting what's right here in this little little area here. This thing is great. It's a, it's a vocal mic, so this one's really made for vocals, although once again, it's, since it's dynamic, it can be used for pretty much anything. I really like this microphone. Dan uses this one for vocals when he plays live. As you'll notice, the sound on this one, it's got a, it's got a little bit more high ends, but once again, it still retains that nice low end. Now, it's not as warm. It's more of a brighter sounding microphone. This is a really good live vocal mic. It's, it's expensive. It's like 250 bucks, but once again, as you can hear, this will sound great for podcasts. You could use this for a podcast if you want to and it looks awesome telefunk and m80s come in a whole lot of cool colors this one's only 250 bucks this is the black with the silver but if you want like a there's like a bunch of multicolored ones uh, there's like you know ones with like wood look wood colored handles there's like a gold one those are around 350 bucks so it's like a hundred dollar difference for the design but as you can tell this is overall a pretty even keel microphone not a lot of highs not a whole lot of lows but it's not it's it's really kind of in the middle it's not super mid mid heavy either it's kind of like kind of like the mids are cut out a little bit and actually, what I'm about to show you is this pop protector windscreen here. This is actually for the SM7B, the Shure SM7B. However, it fits well over this microphone. Thing over. So let me put this over and kind of show you how it warms it up. So you'll notice now it's just slightly warm. It's not a huge difference, but you'll notice that putting this over it really warms it up and kind of softens the blow, so to say. Live, I wouldn't do this. If you're recording, maybe do this. Or if you're doing a podcast or you're talking or something, this is this is a good thing to have live I would recommend taking this thing off so Telefunken M80 awesome microphone overall not the cheapest but not the most expensive either and it's a really gorgeous looking microphone great for vocals the Telefunken M80 all right so next we move on to the SE Electronics V7 super cardioid dynamic vocal microphone this is another warmer vocal mic I bought this one because I wanted warmer vocals on stage I was using a Sennheiser vocal mic it was like a 60 dollar one i don't think it was bad it was just really high endy i've got a lower deeper voice when i sing sometimes i sing louder and i didn't want to be really shrill and have a lot of feedback so that's why i found some really warm microphones for live and this is one of them you'll notice that once again it's pretty even keel it's a little softer than the others the low end is not super crazy on it you'll notice too it looks really cool it's got the red pop filter on there uh, underneath the mesh cap here once again this is a vocal microphone great for live you could use it for a podcast now you'll notice that the output is just a little bit more than the last one these work well for a lot of different stuff i use this for the ride cymbal on the drums right now because it's softer it's got this you know pop filter on there kind of softens the blow of the cymbal a little bit this is a really cool microphone it's a super cardioid so it's really kind of directional at what you're you know doing so great for live vocals it's not too heavy on the low end but it's, it's not too high either so this is another really good one that i really enjoy so the sev7 this is another good one i think this one only cost me 100 bucks really really a nice microphone i couldn't recommend more there's not a whole lot more to say about it you can use it for pretty much anything really this is going to be best for either like a hi-hat or a snare drum or a ride cymbal. I would prefer cymbals with this one, but it's a great vocal mic as well. You could use it for pretty much anything. And now we move on to the Mic Tech PM9. And this one's a little more pricey than the last one. I think this one right around like 120, something like that. I could be wrong. Once again, you'll see the Sweetwater image up here and then I'll have it linked down below. This is a dynamic vocal, super cardioid uh, microphone. This you'll notice has a lot more low end to it. It's got nice highs, but this really, really focuses on the punchy low end. But it's, but it's nice and warm. Once again, it's not super high endy. It's clear. It's clean. This was one of the first ones that caught my eye when I went into, into Sweetwater to test out microphones for vocal for live. I didn't want to spend quite as much to get a Telefunken M80 like Dan wanted to at the time I was buying these. So I was like, all right, well, I'll get this one. When I tested it out, I just loved the warmth of it. I loved the low end of it. It really it like accentuates the low end of my voice, especially coming through a PA system. It's always going to be a little different in a podcast type setting just because you know you're doing a different it's a different usage this in specific is a great great vocal microphone with this one i would pretty much restrict it to vocals but this is a really good vocal microphone so one of my favorites works great for me i would say if you have both of these like i do this is the v7 the v7 would be better for smaller venues 
the PM9 would be better for bigger venues. Now, if you've got all three of these, if you had a choice between all three of these, this is pretty good for everything. This Telefunken M80 is really good for a whole lot of different stuff. But between all of these, this V7 is going to be better for smaller venues, whereas the PM9 would be better for bigger venues. Now, you can use them each for anything, but that's just my preference and opinion on both of them. PM9, mic tech. Great microphone, nice low end. If you're looking for a beefy vocal mic, this is the one. And getting back to my industry standard, just for some honorable mentions of different stuff, we have the V7X. Now the V7X is different than the V7. This is gonna be a lot better for instruments. So that's what the V7X is designed for. Um, I got this in the SE Electronics drum pack, drum microphone, like I think it's called the Arena pack. This is a really, really good microphone for like snare drums or cymbals or whatever. You Really, you can use it for anything. You can use it for vocals. You can use it for, you know, a, like a, a guitar amp or anything but this is mostly for instruments so the v7x the rest oddly enough are all v or all uh, se electronics this is the uh the v beat it's a little drum microphone it comes with these things clip-ons i just took this off the drums so you'll notice that's why it still has the clip on there these are awesome really really good drum mics people have different preferences sure makes some really good ones kind of like little gooseneck microphones uh our, our first drum in our band had those those were actually pretty good i love these things they're they pick up the sound of the drum so crisp the se v beat and last but not least, the little guy, the SE8 condenser microphone. This is awesome. I've come across a lot of condenser microphones. This is one of my favorites. It's got a nice high end on it. It's got a really a lot of nice high pass filter uh, options, which is really cool. I use this for overheads. I've used it for acoustic guitar, like the external acoustic. I've used it for a lot of different things. This is really one of the best condenser mics I've used, and it's not super, super, super expensive. I think it's like 150 bucks. You'll see it up here, but... The SE8, little condenser microphone. Love this little guy. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Uh, I don't like to make my tutorials and showcases super long because I know you guys have stuff to do and you don't want to sit here for 55,000 years watching me go on and on and on and on and on, which happens quite a bit with some tutorials on YouTube. Um, nothing wrong with those. It's a lot of information at one time. If you're looking for something quick, that's what I aim to do. You guys, God bless. Take it easy. Let me know in the comments what you think about these microphones. If you're going to buy some, what you think about them. Um, but yeah, so I will talk to you guys in the next one. God bless.